Hello guys, welcome back to the Tower Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the internet is slow after iOS 16 update that is 16.1, 16.2, 16.3 or even 16.4 Many users are having a lot of trouble and how we can fix this app. So what we have to do is just follow the instruction and the first one is all about we have to go over here in the settings. Now from here go to general. Now from here go to background app refresh. Now from here, make sure this is turned it off. If it is turned it on, you have to turn this off. Background app refresh should be turn it off. And once you're done with this one, we have to move to next one. This is the first step. Next one is all about, we have to turn on the motion for that. We have to go over here in the accessibility. Now from here, you can see the motion. Just tap on it. Now from here, as you can see, the reduced motion is turned it off. So you have to turn this off. So turn this on, the reduced motion should be turned on. Once after that, just go back. Okay. So next one is all about, we have to turn off the location services. For that, we have to go over here a little bit down. Go to privacy and security. Now from here, go to location services. And if this is turned on, the definitely will be having a lot of trouble. So you have to turn this off. Just turn this off. Make sure this is turned off. So just turn this off. And once you're done with this, just go back. Okay. Next one is all about make sure that you're on the latest version of software update. Okay, sometimes updating to the latest version can fix the issue up because a lot of updates are coming up. So just go to the general. Now over here, go to software update. And if you're having any update, just update it. Over here, as you can see, I'm up to date to 16.3.1. So you have to update it and wait for any updates if you're up to date. Once after that, just go back. Now from here itself, we have to reset all settings. For that, we have to go over here in the general, keep scrolling down and we have to go to transfer or reset iPhone. Now we have to go to reset and there is an option called reset old settings. Just go for reset old settings. And once you're done with this one, just go back. Next one and the last one, which I would like to make you notice is you have to force restart your iPhone. That is very simple. All you have to do is you just have to press volume up, followed by volume down, press and hold the power button unless and until you see the Apple logo. So just press volume up, followed by volume down, press and hold the power button, unless and until you see the Apple logo. And once after that, most probably the issue regarding this should be fixed. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.